for live. Welcome, Woo. people of the internet. Woo. Woo. Yeah, bro, 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 bro. to the Battle of Comedy <laughs> Christmas, Christmas edition. I don't know what that was. That was real London gangster, mate, in it. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> If it's your first time to the show, this is a show where I interrogate and I chat to comedians all around the world, mostly in Ireland for some reason, and then they perform for like two minutes. So we get to see if they're any good, you know, but we talk to them first. Um, uh, and I'm your host, Jack Mack. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my own monologue. Um, do you know, in Japan, if you were seen sleeping at your desk... Management will go, hey, that's a hard worker. But when I get caught sleeping at my desk, management say, hey, is everything okay at home? <laughs> you know? um, I work for one of these massive big American companies. Sorry, someone's feedback is, I can hear like, is there like a Darlac or an alien in the background? <laughs> is that you, Matthew? Is that your, your big headset? Um, your, or your big that. mic? Uh, my sound is coming in here, so hopefully not. All right. Is it you, Shane? I'll mute myself. I, uh, uh, I don't think so. I don't have any mic. I just have the... You, you just have the phone. See, we, I should have, have... we should have done this before we went live. <laughs> oh, well. Right, this let's continue you on. This is more real. <laughs> yeah, true, it is. Uh, it is. Right, let's, let's keep going. So, um, yeah, so I work for one of these big American companies. And they, they have this, like, work philosophy where they're like, we're a family. We're one big happy family. I can hear myself talking about <laughs> So this is really annoying. What if, what if, I'm going to do the whole Zoom thing. Can everyone just mute themselves? And we'll see. All right, hold on. I think I can meet you all. All right, they're all muses. Right, we'll find out what, what that was later. So sorry, ladies and gentlemen, how unprofessional this show really is. Uh, right, let's do that bit again, shall we? So I work for one of those massive big American companies. And uh, the philosophy at work is like, we're one big happy family. Which explains why we're always fighting, right? I got in trouble the other day for calling the CEO daddy. Okay, he, he put me right on the naughty step and said, I'm taking money out of your wage, or what I like to call my allowance, right? I know, it's, it's, it's very different from what I'm used to, because I grew up in Mayo, I grew up in the country, you know, very nice, quiet, my neighbours were very discreet, especially when they were gossiping behind my back. It's like they've never seen nude uh, sunbathing before, it's, it's crazy, you know? Uh, like, we had a break-in recently. Someone broke in downstairs and they didn't take anything. They just wanted to see if the floorboards were clean. So they're like, <laughs> these are filthy. <laughs> Wait till I tell everyone. <laughs> They'll be spoken in love in the village. <laughs> so yeah, I moved to Dublin. Uh, Dublin's fun. If you ever come to Dublin and after the COVID, you have to go and see the Wax Museum. If you've ever wondered what celebrities would look like after a house fire, uh, they're a lot more flaccid than normal. You know, Hitler is a little bit more uh, camp than concentrate. Hey, right, that's enough for me. Let's get the let's unmute the comedians and get them back. Comedians, you. Oh. I'm still. I'm still. Who, who, sorry, let me call that. Who is it? Who is it? Yeah. Yeah. I just right. kind of like what I think a moment is like. Okay, so uh, Amy, can you mute? Can you mute yourself? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous doing it this way. Yeah. No, it's, it's not, not Amy. Amy. It's not Amy. Oh. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay. Ruth, Ruth, can you mute yourself? Hello. It's not Ruth. No, it's not Ruth. You're safe. Ooh. Seamus, can you mute yourself? Is it Seamus? Oh, <gasps> shame! <laughs> oh my god, is it shame? Shame is shame, it's shame oh on my god. god. You put the shame in Seamus. Yes. <laughs> I've no other choice but to ban you. <laughs> no, yeah, more like lame as Stackpool. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, just bully him till he leaves. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Seamus? All I can hear is. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> better than your comedy. Oh, oh, we heard that. Oh, oh, heard that. Damn, that's I heard fire. that crystal clear. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, like for that. Audio was fine for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like desperate in the group chat. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> this, this is all friendly banter. I hope. <laughs> no, we're airing some demons. Um, <laughs> when enough. we were doing going through like everyone, it felt like we were doing um, like a vote out or something. It was like, and it's yeah. not you, not you. I felt like it was like it's... strictly come dancing or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Amy, you are safe. <sighs> I thought it was my you know, I thought you were safe for another week. For yeah. another week. Imagine now we interview everybody afterwards, and like they're like, I thought it was me, you know, I'd buy the best mic equipment. <laughs> Shame they're like, it's disgraceful, disgraceful. I don't know how microphones work, they're magic. <laughs> They are. It's just like uh, you know those tins of beans with the string around it. <laughs> Everyone just has one of those <laughs> under the yeah. table, oh, and it's plugged into a big mainframe. And that's the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So we're gonna kick the show off with our very, very funny, tremendous Galway comedian, Danny Walsh. Woo. 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 Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm um yeah, I'm I'm home at Galway now at Galway in Galway for the next while in because of well the little thing called coronavirus. The old the old COVID. Uh you're at yeah. Galway, so you're like I'm at, at the Galway. Tag it. Tag at Galway, yeah. yeah. At Galway. That was a terrible job, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you the last day? Oh, I was at Galway. I was at Galway, <laughs> <laughs> just tagging yourself in all the time. I was at Ballon Robe. <laughs> at Ballon, at the Ballon. Uh, your, your video was very good about your nosy neighbours. I really enjoyed that. That that was born from a lot of hatred for neighbours. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of anger in there. Is there any specific neighbour you're afraid of hearing that? It, it's a mix. It's a mix of three neighbours in one. <laughs> Do you the think any of them would watch it? Anything? That's me. Oh, yeah. Try even oh, mention. Okay. I said, "Hey, Connor, how's it going?" And it's it's Connor Hill. It? Oh, you just said his full name. Yeah, <laughs> you just name names. Yeah, you do not care. Live on the internet. <laughs> this is what happens when you're nosy, Connor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nosy, good people this. People get fucking angry at you. Yeah. Yeah, this he wants to know all your private me. information. You might as well <laughs> dox him on the internet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. No. He's bitching behind my back. I'm bitching <laughs> about him. On the internet. Back. On the internet. Oh, that's the only reason this gig was called was to bitch about <laughs> Connor Hill. <Yeah. laughs> that's the only reason Jack's gonna into comedy. <laughs> Just to hold this very moment. Bitch. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to do a gig in my hometown. Oh, you're all close you to me do... in school. <laughs> Where did you do one in Ballon Road? I don't know. Ballon? <laughs> what? What was that, Seamus? What'd you say? Jump off the stage and start punching people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you a punchline. <laughs> you go, will you? I gotta admit, that punchline joke was pretty funny as they're yeah, getting pummeled in the face. Yeah. That's solid setup. I like the pun. <laughs> I, like the, I like the punch. Line. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it so uh, yeah you're in Galway now uh, I am and are you working today... from home? <coughs> excuse me sorry it's not COVID um, I am working from home uh, that's why I don't don't long don't longer I can't speak today I do not longer do I don't live in Dublin anymore <laughs> but you I are, you're say... at Galway no in Dublin no more I, I know Dublin no more uh, <laughs> I just when you come to Galway you just like the, the, the use of the ling English language just goes down. <laughs> the lingo the lingo language <laughs> I um. wish I meant to do that but today it was the highlight of my year oh, I yeah. got some little runners wow oh. they're very yeah. cool 
that was the second little I tried, um, and it was in Tomb. So I, I kind of thought in Tomb they wouldn't uh, wouldn't want those runners. I was like, the man, I was like, do you have the little runners? He's like, yeah, there's loads of them. I'm back. I'm there. I was like, okay. <laughs> sorry. Would you not want the little runners? Uh, they have gone. Tomb is an interesting place. Tomb, <laughs> yeah, very interesting place. With some, I only know about one thing, and like it's babies. Ba oh, <laughs> sorry. No. Yeah, they they certainly wouldn't be looking for the runners. No, and uh, there's also. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Um, it's true. It's true. The Saw Doctors to be singing songs about you. <laughs> Absolutely. There's some. There, no. Um. The June people. I just don't feel like they would like these type of runners in a, in a comical sense. Um, yeah. Uh, no offense not. to any June person watching. But they're on Egypt. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know the no. N17 isn't even called the N17 anymore. What? Why There's, not? It's called like the uh, they changed the name. They they did something so we're not on the national road anymore. So it's the M one hundred and three. M one hundred and three. For any for any saw doctor's pants. <laughs> That's awful. You've ruined I my Christmas. It's really relevant. <laughs> it's, Where it's am like, I going with this? It's like Monto. Monto is real anymore. But if you take me up to Monto. Is anyway, it not called Monto anymore? No, not that I know of. Oh. Well, this, this has been your local discussion on how place names on have changed. Irish geography. <laughs> yeah, this is a very Connacht conversation. Me <laughs> and Seamus are just out in the cold. Uh, Seamus is from Limerick. Yeah. Limerick is monster. I know my geography. Oh, yeah, okay, oh, yeah. I thought you meant that. You I, I know. Um, they changed the name. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they changed stuff. <laughs> The county formerly Limerick. Yeah. Are there really 111 motorways in Ireland? I would I would boggle to believe oh, no. that if there's a hundred motorways. Oh, here. I couldn't tell you, Matthew. I've no idea. This is like, Amy's the like yes, there coronavirus is. chat. How many motorways are there? So, yeah, you know when you're up late on Google and you're in just a YouTube hole. I wonder how many motorways there are in Ireland. How many motorways? Ireland. First thing this is. What? Matthew, were you already Googling it? <laughs> this is all an elaborate setup. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, if anybody asks, I'll know. Yeah. Now when I do <laughs> yeah. two minutes of national motorway material, <laughs> people's yeah. minds are going to be blown. It is hard to find an answer. I oh. Oh. Even Google's like, I don't care. Why yeah. Google's like, well, they changed the N17 and the saw doctors can't say about it. Who cares? Did it, did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just tell her yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she was God, looking that... it up on Amy Walsh own brand Google. Just your <laughs> Google knockoff. It's just people asking yeah. you questions and you trying to answer them. You're right. I don't know. Me giving all the wrong answers. <laughs> well, I think my mom said this once, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait a Stop second. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. Oh no, no. It said twenty two thousand, but it's about something with vehicles. Well, it's definitely not that one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me twenty two thousand. So, so let's go back to let's go back to that show of hand. Amy, how much were the little runners? The little runners were um seventeen euro. Oh, I thought you said seventy for a second. I was like, Someone what? also thought I said seventy. They, what you flew? And I was like, one seven? And they're like, Oh, okay. They're actually oh. so uncomfortable. And Good. also I got socks and t shirts. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to draw the line at the little Christmas jumper. That's that's gonna be a Christmas jumper. That's yeah. gonna be your outfit when you get back to comedy. Hey, hey, hey! I'm telling you, I'll just be wearing it all yeah. the time. Do you think people will think you work in little if you're in little? Um, like, I don't know. I I'm just the merch is top notch. Fair play. To them. Yeah, I'm delighted. Absolutely, highlight of my year. Yeah, good it is little. 2020, so <laughs> everyone else is doing it, you know. This is this is true. T-shirts, yep. Wow Burger do caps. Do they? Yeah, which I thought was mad because they look awful. <laughs> 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 terrible. It's true, they do. Is there a little burger on them? 
I don't know. It just goes wild. Well, 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 well. It's like a baseball cap. Don't they sell hoodies as well? It, like you can go in and get your burger and buy like a, a, a hoodie at the same time. It's just, it's a very weird thing buying yeah. clothes and also buying greasy food. It's not a <laughs> yeah. safe combination. Yeah. Yeah, it's I've weird. heard uh, Abercrombie and Fitch are going to start doing barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be lean. You can't actually see yeah. anything. But just yeah. top lean of the skies, yeah. fucking ribs dripping on them. You know? <laughs> They're just there working out. Like, hey, man. You Do remember that, with, you that, that, that thing and it was like, oh, Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch only um, hire really, really good looking people to work in their shops. <laughs> yeah, that was a big scandal for a while. <laughs> Then there was all these guys. rumors of people who had been offered jobs as they walked in. But yeah, one of my cousin's friend's brother, he got offered a job. And he, well. and yeah. he works in Dublin in, now. In secondary <laughs> school, that was the biggest fake brag people could come up with. It was like, you got a girlfriend in Spain and you were offered a job at Abercrombie and Fitch. Absolutely. <laughs> my friend got a job at Abercrombie and Fitch, but she was put in the uh, back office. No, oh, it was like got a job, and it was like you'll be second yeah. chance in the back, yeah. and she was like, "Oh, never mind." Janice, wow. you don't have the looks. <laughs> yeah. wow, you look like you'd be really hot at no. arithmetic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you can fold things. You got five things. The door opens to the back, and she's like. <laughs> Wear this bag whenever you come out in the storefront. Uh, Over your face, face please. please. <laughs> <laughs> when, like somebody go like face for video, it's like, oh, you look like you could work at Abercrombie and Fitch in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Remember, on the first day, I get my bus like right outside Abercrombie and Fitch, and the first day, like restrictions lifted. I remember just looking at it, like. And it's just open. It's like, who was excited about this? What are these people's lives like? Yeah. <laughs> Where this is what they're wait. waiting for. Oh my God. <laughs> but I thought, like, Hollister wasn't cool anymore because they were mean. Were they mean? Yeah. <laughs> they used I think to burn their clothes. Was mean as well. I think they were man mean against a disabled person. Yeah, but oh. the CEO said he doesn't want fat people wearing the brand. And everyone was like, Aah! What? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they they're not trying to be woke and they're trying to be like we're really nice. We have the lights on. It's okay. Yeah, we've <laughs> turned up. We've turned on the lights now. It's fine. We, 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 we turn on the lights <laughs> and <laughs> <There's> <laughs> <going> <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, oh. let's let's keep at the show. Amy, are you ready to hit the stage? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Seamus, can I ask you to turn off your mic? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so it sorry. feels like bullying. <laughs> we'll go for Christmas. We'll oh, so you're like, it feels like bullying. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, Amy Watts, everyone. Woo! 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 Um, since it was Christmas themed, I said I'd uh, tell you a nice little Christmas story about when I was an elf oh. uh, one Christmas when I was 20. Um, I love Christmas, but I was a really shit elf because I was constantly hungover. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's not a good combination when, like, you want to puke and your head is sore <laughs> and there's loads of kids running around going, Santa! <laughs> Um, I also had a couple of them tell me I smelt, and you know what? They weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you smell the vodka? Um, but yeah, there was this little wishing tree, and it was very cute, to be fair. And you know, some kids were very unrealistic, and they put things like, I want a million trillion jellies in my mouth at once. <laughs> That's not happening, Peter. Um, but then another <laughs> one just said in caps lock, it was just said, CHICKEN! And that's chicken with an E, not an I. Um, <laughs> then there was another nice one, and it was like, oh, I want Uncle Jim to get a new knee. Quite, oh. quite nice. And then another sad one that said a mother who loves me. Um, oh. That was just one day when I was really hungover, though, do you know? I just <laughs> needed some loving. Um, but, yeah, then one one time I nearly killed a child. Um there was this little carousel thing, you know, with the horses and a parent asked me to watch his two-year-old. And I was like, see, there's like 20 other kids. Also, I'm rattled. And he was like, I trust you. Like, that is your first mistake. Um, and then his second mistake was actually my mistake um, because I forgot to keep watching the kid. And I was looking at another kid. And the first kid jumped off and tried to kill himself. He was only two. Um, yes. 
for but he didn't know he was gonna you know but his dad caught him thank god amy did not ruin christmas that time um but the following year um i was like oh i'll definitely get this job again um and i auditioned and everything and uh i didn't get the job i don't know how the whole British elf that tried to kill a child didn't get it didn't get the job um but yeah so that's more of the story if you're going to be an elf don't be drinking before the job i may be watched thank you very much that was amy <laughs> don't employ her <laughs> I love that you were watching another child it's like i had i just i decided i'd watch a child not the right child <laughs> Yeah, Amy, as soon as you finish your monologue, someone because I can see like the reactions, someone oh, did the... <laughs> I'm a nice person, I swear. <laughs> Just Amy don't Walsh leave me. Is yeah, like... penciled um, <laughs> for child abuse. <laughs> Alcoholism. Uh, I can just imagine an old granny like, oh, what's this show? Rescue company. Oh, oh my lord, <laughs> dislike. Just and she's like, from June as well. She's yeah. like, oh. That's awesome. <laughs> oh stop, stop, please, stop. Awful. Anyway, we're going to move on to the very funny Matthew Talent. How you doing, Matthew? Oh. I'm good, I'm good. How are you, Jack? Yeah, no, I'm all right. Oh, wait, do you want me to start my set? Because you introduced no, me no. and then asked how I was. <laughs> like, no, no, this is not your set. This is your chat. This is where we, I like to find out stuff about you and I blackmail you later. Very nice. Very nice. That's yeah. a good way to blackmail people is just to invite Absolutely. them on a comedy that's how, show. People reveal very you, private information. Absolutely. That's how you get That's how you get ahead in this business. Yeah, I, I, have, a, I have some jokes about some illicit activity of mine. That's the only place I can confess. It's because yeah. everyone thinks I'm kidding. They don't believe all the awful organizations I run. Or how I was the guy from Hollister who uh, who said all that shit. You hate really? disabled people. You were just like, yeah. I, hate, I hate fat people. Is that, that was you, Matthew. Yeah, it's they're, kind of a double-edged sword, though, because uh, I don't let myself in the front of the store either. So clearly I have a low self-esteem, and that's why I take that out on the world. And like Janice in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Matthew, Matthew, maybe I can go and No, Janice, know your place. No. We belong here, underneath the floorboards, moving the merchandise. <laughs> Don't forget your bag, anyway. Um... Yeah, ring the bell, Janice. <laughs> are, you, are you still at home? Are you, you, are you still studying? No, I, I graduated. Uh, I graduated. Oh, oh, Don't congratulate that. It's a it's a tragic thing. Uh, I'm out in the world now. I know. Yeah, it's tough. Have you seen the world? It's it's a bad place to be. I want to be related in my little academic world, pretending I understand Ulysses, uh, <laughs> just doing stuff like that. But uh, no, and I'm working a job. I'm working. Um, in a business, it's uh, which is exciting. You know, Ooh. I get to file documents. I get to Whoa. send memos. Um, oh. I'm working with normies as well. That's an interesting experience. What, muggles, as I call them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, do you like Harry Potter? <laughs> we're like the same. Ding, we're ding, so ding. weird. Oh my god, I thought only Harry. I knew. You can be Harry. I can be Ron. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> This is really the the night of the cancelled figures, you know. It's uh, Hollister and and Harry and Potter then, and then Harry Potter. Oh yeah, because of J.K. Oh J.K. Yeah. J.K. Not again. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to stop the comedy for a second just to deliver a message about how I don't I don't yeah, support your referencing of Harry Potter, Jack. You're listening, J.K. No, but I like Harry Potter. I don't support J.K. You know. Oh yeah. It's well, like, I'm sure, I, I, I'm sure he's sitting at home watching this like, no. Uh, <laughs> no uh, it's like, it's like, it's like Kevin Spacey. Like, I was watching Seven and I've never seen it. I watched it and he's in it and he's so good. And I'm like, why did you go and get cancelled? You're so good, Kevin Spacey. I like you as an artist. But as a person. <laughs> little kind of big Hey, I don't know what happened there. Hang on. 
It's amazing. I'm such a, I'm so self-centered. My first instinct was like, oh my god, all four of their internets went out at once. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a crazy coincidence. Yeah. Well, 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 this shows, Matthew, that like maybe you were cushioned in college and you thought like, oh my God, my voice is going to be heard. And now you're in the real world and you're going to realize no one cares. Oh. <laughs> got, got very I'm going to move. Closer to my internet. <laughs> Got very real there. No, but also he had so like, much. He had right. so much material. Jack, you're like bringing it back in, and you're great. We appreciate you. <laughs> yes. Everyone loves you. Well, you're a great comic. You're a great, great person. Jack is giving us a tour of his house. Yeah. He's, he's, he's pouring his mic around, yeah. showing it off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all my you're ass. Ass. Oh, me. Oh, Ma Matthew's the new Gary Lynch because Gary is usually struggling with his internet or having a cigarette outside. He's like, oh. <laughs> and he's, he's watching the show. He's only half watching the show. He's just smoking. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So, no, it's going to make you. Office. It's right above the Wi Fi router. So hopefully we're good. Did you just do no. this so you could show off your uh, your. Your graduate degree behind me. I was gonna say, I see you graduated. I see you. Yeah. I graduated the College of, of Leinster Rugby. Uh, oh <laughs> no, this is very much not my room. I want anyone tuning in right now to know that. Yeah. <laughs> what were we saying? Oh yeah, no. Yeah, how do you find office life? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I find it very, uh, very strange, you know, especially, I don't know, I'm not used to, everyone there is like, like I say, normal, and I'm kind of a, a freak, you know, I'm yeah, kind of they're all, they're all under dweller, as this lighting would suggest, and uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know, so I've been like noticing a lot of things about like normal people, you know, like they all, they all like, it, like the French Prince of Bel-Air, uh, and Harry Potter, <laughs> uh, and they hate it when I, uh, Dip my tongue in milk and swirl it around. They don't like that a lot. Really? Why not? <laughs> they say it's weird, but I'm just like, no, I'm just an artist. That's what we like. You Ignore know? the hate. You guys understand. Yeah. I do you. Yeah, yeah. They I'm an individual. No clue. You know, um, but uh, it's it's okay. You know, um, I get to. No, I can't think of anything. It's really it's really quite bad. <laughs> Do you guys like your jobs? I know it's meant to be my segment, but I'm. I'm... <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think yes. we group work together. Yeah. Amy has been on holidays for two days, and I have not. And it shows in my heart and soul and life. And honestly, do you guys? It has been a grim time. Do you, do you guys still talk, even though you're not obviously in the same office now? Or do you still have each other on like FaceTime? You're like, hey. We have like little chats and WhatsApp and stuff. WhatsApp. But yeah. when you have so many WhatsApp, you have to be careful that we're talking and not talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's a dangerous game. You know? <laughs> Once we were on a Zoom and we were recording, and the other people left and we were going to talk about them. And then we remembered we were being recorded and we were like, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. yeah. We're like, this is pretty. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> But we used to sit beside each other in the office, which I do yeah. miss. So now we used yeah. to have good chats. Now it's oh, virtually. Good. Yeah, you know, 2020 would have been hardest on us. Yeah. 2021 will be better. Online workers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those guys. So, I'm gonna go, so back to Matthew, because it's, it's his turn. Yeah, I didn't realize that I turned over the floor to you guys. You're gonna yank it out from underneath. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Amy had her go. She spoke about middle. Yeah, no. yeah. Which, by the way, was what I was gonna talk about. How much you love little as well. Yeah. Yeah. Or Aldi, you know, it's the same or thing. Oh, Super I bought, I bought the Aldi brogues, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're not as popular, but no. so what? You know, you gotta give them some love. But they're a little bit more classy. Have you guys been to that uh, little the? Or is it an Aldi? The one that's over the Irish ruins? No, I went to go there. 
It's so cool. It is legitimately just, I mean, it's horrible. It's terrifying in a way because this is like a national monument and they just made a little over it. You know? <laughs> well, what, what was this? It's in um, it's in town. It's in like Wexford Street or something. And they made a new little, but they discovered when they were building over it, they discovered some ancient Irish runes. And they decided instead of making it like a landmark, they could just put a glass case in the runes and build around it. So there's literally like a big stack of, uh, of bottles of Diet Coke that for like three ninety nine. No. And then like a like. Bog man staring up at No, this is the worst. <laughs> I know. I was like, we're still going to stay here, but there's some history. Yeah, it's even worse. When you see, when you, when you look into your own mortality, uh, you know, you're more susceptible to this type of It's just a true fact about life. You know? I left with three cases of Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and hopefully, the time will build like. A future little on top of that little, and you'll be trapped under the glass. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, "This is how people used to shop at not 2020." Like, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right. 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 Ma Matthew, are you ready to hit stage? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. 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 Everybody, put your hands together for Matthew. Tell it, everyone. Woo! Oh my god, I'm waiting for my mom to leave the room so I can start telling. <laughs> um, no, it is. It's great to be back. Oh my god, it's it's great to see you all. It's been so weird ever since stand up ended. Uh, I felt like uh, that bit in Spider Man Two when Peter Parker gives up his powers. You know, uh, a lot happier in my personal life, mm -hmm. but the city is in constant danger without mm -hmm. me and my unique abilities. Uh, <laughs> But uh, no, it has been, this isn't real. I'm not even really here uh, to tell jokes. I'm here to advertise uh, myself as a roommate. Because uh, as you can see, I am uh, still living at home over COVID and, and that has to end. Um, you know, like my, I'm starting to get too close with my parents. Uh, like my dad, my dad called me chief for the first time yesterday. <laughs> and, and I like my dad, but I, I just don't know if we're ready to take that step in our relationship, you know? Uh, I mean, we've, we've never even played catch. He's never even tussled my hair affectionately. <laughs> Maybe we're a champ or, or a slugger at best, but uh, a chief just feels too, too much, you know? Um, but it's good that we're kind of back into to level three. We can start going out again. Um, I, start, I went on a date uh, last week for the first time in a Ooh. while. Um, yeah, it was going really well, uh, but I'm kind of awkward at these things. So, like... Right at the very end, when I was leaning in to kiss her, uh, she saw a cyclist get hit by a car. Uh, and that really killed the mood, you know, because uh, I had to get out of my car and give the guy my insurance. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do kind of get unlucky. I think I'm just a, a socially awkward person, you know, like uh, I blame my parents for that too, you know, because they always taught me as a child never to talk to strangers. Uh, and now I can't, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like at the end of the lockdown, me and a group of my friends uh, went to Wexford, and I was the only person in that whole group who didn't have sex that night. Um, which just goes to go show my uh, undying respect for social distancing measures. Uh, <laughs> no other quality about me as a person. Um, but I remember two of my friends that night, they were in the room right next to mine, uh, and they were having sex the entire time. Um, I know that's so inconsiderate because uh, I, I find it very hard to sleep uh, with my ear pressed against the wall. Uh, <laughs> and I, I just don't know what to do in that situation. Eventually, I, I gave up and tried to listen to a, a podcast about the French Revolution to drown it out. Uh, and that was kind of nice because at the end of the podcast, uh, democracy won. And it felt like people were still celebrating. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of time there. So thank you very much for having me. Woo! Well done, well done. We'll uh, can't wait to see you all back on stage. I miss you all. Yeah, it's really cool getting where this guy. Yeah. Fucking... My watch. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to open up, and you're talking about your fucking watch. <laughs> I miss you. Have you seen my new watch? You're just like, hey, no, you I don't care. Guys, we should hang out more. You know, it has it keeps excellent time. It's just. 
Only a fiver. <laughs> Why can't you make the times for me then, Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the very funny Rue Pearl. Hello, Harley. Root Harley. No, it's a very unfortunate last name. I couldn't not say it like that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. As long as you talk about stick, we're okay. Talk about the what? It's, you know the way it's like a slang word for sick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah, so that's more that. unfortunate. Nice. Yeah, it is. I never thought of it that way. It's my culture brain. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have uh, brought the room's attention. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Hurling. Yeah. Let's focus on that. <laughs> anyway, Hurley, Yeah. So, uh, how have you been, Ruth? I've been pretty good. I have not done any exciting uh, shopping-based clothing items. I feel very, you know, Aldi brogues. I think I could, like, like a super value swimsuit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to give them that idea. Uh, I've done nothing exciting um, in terms of my buying. I have had, do have sad news. My favorite neighborhood cat is moving out. Oh, I re yeah, I noticed today and I was like very upset. I wanted to say goodbye, but I don't know the people. So, oh, right. I was in a very unusual position. It's like, can I hug your cat? But I don't know. No. So, yeah. Other than that, my day has been pretty dull. I've just been here in the house, working away. You've, you've been gossiping with Amy. Mm. Well, Amy had a day off, so I've been gossiping oh, about Amy. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> what about someone else? You're like, Amy. Mm. <laughs> someone called Amy with an I. <laughs> Nothing like a good bit of awesome, awesome gossip. <laughs> Off, office <laughs> gossip. Awesome gossip. Off you miss everyone. that in WhatsApp though, because because things just come across way too blunt when you're like a state of her hair on the Zoom call. <laughs> That's so funny. Like literally before the show, <laughs> before the show, my manager texted me or not my sorry, she emailed me and I said, "Oh, we've got this." She sends another one saying, hi, Jack. Yes, I know you have got this, but I'm letting you know. And I was like, no, 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 no. I meant like, we've got this. Like, we're going to win. And she's like, oh, I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. When you're trying to be yes. like, you know, like, like, like positive. wine o'clock to you too. And they're like, I, I meant I'm whining, not wine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. I get you. I get you. All that. I feel like, yeah. Uh, because, you know, Matthew started his new job and we're talking about work and, you know, we're we're all adults and we're all in the working all world. Anyway. Matthew got a new watch. It's all, it's all change. Mean, yeah, I'm rolling it. Yeah. This is actually yeah. a Rolex. I just thought. <laughs> yes, like, brought up the watch. look at this Casio. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any watch. I feel very um, left there. You just get one. I do have that yeah. watch. I just... I'm not wearing it. <laughs> uh, need to get a. Can you get one? Hey. Do you guys bring like watches on with you when you're doing stand up? And you do that. <laughs> I'm connected. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. I generally forget to hit the button though, so I'm like, bollocks! <laughs> Fucking don't know how long. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just got it all. Got a great, yeah. uh, great um, grasp yeah. of time. Yeah. <laughs> it's I your great, uh, minutes, I look at her go. She knows. She's a yeah. Going yeah. over. It, you know? It's your comedic timing. Uh, it, yeah. it tells you. <laughs> 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 that was so embarrassing. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> <stop cam. laughs> you showed us your watch. I think that was the. <laughs> Get out your watch. Uh, so. Uh, Anything else for it? Do you, do you like films? I, other than the cat, like honestly. Actually, <laughs> no, last time I, talked to you, I talked about how much I was a bit of a creep in the area. And yeah. my main apartment that I can see into, they got new, I got new, um, they got new, oh yeah. People who live in the house. They live in the house. Okay. <laughs> right, anyway. fair enough. <laughs> I have the same problem, Amy. But I've been staring at them and I saw him and he was naked and we made eye contact and it got weird. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. It's like, like a friend. Yeah, like in friends. Now I didn't see any, like, I didn't see penis actually. Just 
but it was like a like he was like this and I was looking at him. But what, and it was was like, he naked or was, or was he in his underpants? He had a top off. That's a naked. I'll, <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't see. I can't. I can't see below. I should have been like kind of <laughs> Yeah, draw on the board. <laughs> but I've noticed that I these curtains down. I feel like that's my fault. <laughs> be like, <laughs> like a meerkat trying to peek over. So, yeah. I'm being a bit of a man of the studio. So you're being a bit of a peeping tom. <laughs> yeah, but, but but you don't mean to be. Well, no, I do mean to be. To be honest. Okay. At least you're it's honest. Coronavirus. I've got nothing else to be doing with my time. Just burning on people. Ruth, I can see your future already. You're going to be one of these old ladies who just stares out the window. Oh, that's me now. I'm already. <laughs> I didn't know his belly was out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I was watching for. Oh, four o'clock. He takes his shower. I'll wait here. What's that, Ned? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, even where I'm living at the moment, I'm living a above a pub, and my window is in eye level with um, the buses, the double decker buses. So oh, if no I'm way! Changing, if I'm changing, and the bus sometimes stops because it's a traffic light. People can just be on the bus like, "Oh, me. you love it." <laughs> <laughs> what pub do you so, live above? Birchalls in Ranla. Never. Um, and what bus um, yeah, passes yeah. you uh, getting changed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's the I don't know. I'll find out. Dude, yeah, dude. we'll be all on that now. I'll turn and Matthew will just be like <laughs> oh, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with a bit of uh what's it called? Voyage Voyager. A Beauty and Be the Beast stained glass door, which I really want to see. So I really want to friend them to see the door up close. But you could always knock on the door and pretend you're a Mormon or a salesperson. Don't <laughs> like it in that if I did that. Nobody <laughs> loves Mormons. No offense. True. Yeah. <laughs> or you could be like, "Hey, I'm your neighbor." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I need to create, I need to create a strategy. I could just be like, I'm selling Disney merchandise. Could you bring them a Christmas uh, theme card? Food? Christmas cards? <laughs> I don't card? take food from a stranger. Like, well, I'm no, some people will, but like that would be a bit weird. I'll think about it. I need to come up. I'll think about a better plan. No offense. Yeah, anybody. come back to the show and tell us how, <laughs> how your voice. Yeah, stalking the neighbors ones. Yeah, like <laughs> candlestick. <laughs> like like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, somebody I'm glad somebody came to work today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could too. Or a clock. Bring a clock. Yeah. And a candlestick. Or, um... Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All, right all things are, are you ready to I'm ready to go, this? yeah. She's ready. She's ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for. No, that's the wrong button. Give it up for the one. The only is Ruth Hearn, everyone. Woo! So um, I'm going to talk about some of my worst Christmases because I do really like Christmas, but I've had some awful Christmases. Like there was a time, one Christmas, my hair went on fire twice when I was six. That was horrific. Um, there was a time my brother got knocked down. Now, that's not funny. That's not really a punchline. But who was the punchline that night? Oh. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's still alive. Uh, his neck makes a weird noise when it when he turns, like it crunches. But um, <laughs> he's fine. All all good in the brain, we think. <laughs> um, but the awful Christmas was when I went on a really romantic trip with my boyfriend to Belgium, and I had the worst hangover of all time. I woke up in the middle of the night in this really fancy hotel, getting sick off the side of the bed. So I tried to get up to go to the bathroom and I fell in the sick. Oh. And then I just started to cry and I lay there with a very bruised bum bone covered in my own sick. <laughs> then my boyfriend though, saw the state of me and he got sick. <laughs> like some people might find that quite sexy, but we did not. <laughs> but my, worst, my worst ever Christmas was the time my mom forgot to pick up the turkey 
And considering like the near death of my brother and the horrific hangover didn't make my top list, shows you how important I take stuffed birds. <laughs> she got to pick up a turkey, a turkey and she decided to just get lots of like turkey luncheon meat and mash it together to make like a mala esque turkey joint. It was horrific. It was horrific. But my best Christmas, I'll leave you on a high note, was when I got my favorite toy ever. My favorite toy ever as a child was a post office office slash bank. Yeah, <laughs> I think that tells you a lot of the kind of person I was that I got a portable, by the way, because you need to do your post office slash banking on the go. I got a portable <laughs> post office slash bank. Now, some kids when they're younger dream of like unicorns and pirates, but I clearly dreamed of low level bureaucracy and queuing. <laughs> shockingly, none of the other kids that year would play with me. So I had to play both parts. I had to be both bank teller and bank attendee. Like <laughs> the most pathetic scene in the world. And I didn't play the very exciting games. It wasn't like, you know, um, bank robbery or, or a million yeah. euro loan. I would play and I would like go from one side to the other. Can I buy stamps? Big day in the bank was when I wanted to lodge a check and I would go from one side to the other to try and lodge my check. Yeah. I was a very, very pathetic child, but a very cool adult now. <laughs> um, that's me. Thank you. I can just imagine you going like, hi, can I cash this check? <laughs> you want to fill out this form? <laughs> that is literally what I did. <laughs> but I, I've, I've already, I filled this one out. You're going to have to do it again. Like, like just you <laughs> giving yourself funny. problems. Like, yeah. hi, I'd like, to, I'd like to get a mortgage. You don't make enough. <laughs> but, you know, I remember yeah. like the little the little thing to like cash the check. We you know when you're a kid, is that like ching? And I was like, oh, oh yeah. we're gonna have to do that again. Ching. That was my day. <laughs> just going back and forth. <laughs> Ruth, that's, that should be a sketch. That should be just you showing us how you played bike. Thanks yeah. for post office. Turn it to either side, and it was portable. So, like, if Very you invited fair. me to your house, I'd be like. Don't worry, that's the bank stuff post office. <laughs> I've got bank. I bet you were great at Monopoly. I bet you they're like <laughs> I brought the bank. So it's funny. I, I am the banker. I saw in um where I work, I'm not gonna say where. Um they have brown uh, I'm sure where I work. Um they have Dublin <laughs> Brown something. <laughs> I don't know they where have, it could be. They have um, Dublin Monopoly. What? Dublin I had Dublin edition. Monopoly. But I was yeah. thinking like, like they if have it was their thing, Monopoly. Yeah, it's like the game of Monopoly, but it's like Dublin themed. But I was thinking like, are all the squares overpriced, but they're not really worth <laughs> the price for them? And like, like, is there like a square like give money to a beggar, and they're like. No. <laughs> yeah, and you can't buy any of the property. You can just rent it, and then you have to. The rent just gets increased every time you pass go. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> or is there like half the board is the north side, half the board is the south side? So your player is forced to go to the north side. Like, yeah, no, I mean, down what really. The better side. I think Kimmage. The I just was that one of the brown ones. Mm. Yeah. Imagine living in the brown. <laughs> yeah. Imagine living in the brown. Yeah. Like, I think it was really, Kimmage and Crumlin were the two. I can't remember the other one. It's like, you live in the brown part of Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget it. <laughs> Never forget it, absolutely. Yeah. Right, so. Insult. <laughs> yeah, Love dating a girl from the wrong side of the tracks, the brown <laughs> streets. <laughs> <laughs> some faceless corporation representing like you know billionaires from like oil countries in china they can buy property on the board but nobody playing it can buy any property on the board <laughs> absolutely yeah that would be something like what has ended <laughs> imagine like You've got the board, and then you've got like another island. Oh, board. Yeah, it's like you need to put your money over there just once, and then you can take it back. <laughs> tax, tax, yeah. Right, we're going to move on to our last comedian, the very funny 
Seamus Dyke. Seamus. Mr. Seamus, how are you? Mr. Jack, I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. God, everyone's asking me how I am today. I feel so special. <laughs> by asking people how they are, because then they feel obliged to, to ask you back. And then you're, you're stuck in that loop forever. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone always lies as well. They're like, all right, oh yeah, I'm great. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, fine. And I'm crying inside. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what, what, where's your great drawings? I haven't seen because Seamus is a great artist. I haven't seen any drawings in a while. Uh, let me see. You might be able to see one there uh, behind me on the wall. I've got a picture of a shark. Oh, I love. Uh, I'll lift up the light. Jack, you didn't actually want to see it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I. It was kind of like. <laughs> it was me being polite. No, I... You're seeing it now. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's very cool. Oh, that is good. That's big. That is very cool. Did you draw that? Yeah. Is it yeah, chalk? Or... Wow. Yeah, it's um, it's sheets of uh black A4 and it's chalk, and it's a very big. Mm. Like what type of shark is that? <clears throat> Baskin um, shark? No, no, I'm not a big fan of Baskin shark. Uh, <laughs> it's a bat. It just goes around it. It's mouth open all day. It's just like the old. <laughs> it's a bit of a shark. It's a, it's, it's a it's great white. Oh, it's um, a great white. Okay, the king of sharks. Yeah, he's like the lion yeah. of shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like uh. <laughs> He's the CEO of Sharks, yeah. He's, great, yeah. he's a great lad. Yeah. yeah. In the movie Shark Dale, he was the one played by Robert De Niro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely, Matthew, yeah. <laughs> was Angelina Jolie his wife in Shark Tale? I, I think she was uh, She was Will Smith's love interest, wasn't it? No, that was yeah. Renee Zellweger. Both um, of them. So, yes. There was two. What yeah. a double team. Yeah. 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 Black. Will Smith, a fish yeah. version of Will Smith had two love interests. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to do a very good impression of the prawn. I'll do it another time because this is Seamus' time. <laughs> Amy, <laughs> Amy, we give you Stop. more and more. Take it's never enough from people. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to hear the prawn now. I'll do it some other time. If Seamus, if Seamus allows it, I will. I'll do it to allow it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it. Um, it used to be my party piece when I was. Um, when I was younger, thank you, when, Seamus. When, for when you were underage drinking in football, players, <laughs> um, for any of you that are, are, are familiar with Shark Tale, um, was, <laughs> when my sister had a baby and she passed away, and the, and the baby had lost all its legs, so, it was like a little, so me and my wife went to get care of it. I just took a trip to the factory, it, it, it's doing all right now. Story. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> I think that and the shark. Yeah. That was, really that was a good impression. Go. Sorry, Seamus. <laughs> well, Seamus is fine. Sorry, everyone's audio has gone a bit weird. Oh. How's the audio now? You're, yeah, I can yeah, it's fine. Time. Amy did her impression, and then everyone just turned into Darlax. Like, that's fine. The effect I have on people. <laughs> you tried to yeah. say Dar Yeah, I've all Darlax. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no R in Dalek. <laughs> I know da Dalek, but they go Dalek, don't they? So, okay, so you're being like real Landon. Landon, they'd be like, oh, it's the, da the Daleks. I'm like, Darlax, right. <laughs> what are Daleks? The Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yes. <laughs> what are they like? Exterminate. Exterminator. But they, yeah, yeah, they've got this real, like, w weird robotic voice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you were doing there, Seamus, but it was not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were the, the perverts on Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They had one massive suction yoke. I think they only had one suction. They had a plunger, yeah, and then an egg whisker. Yeah. Yeah, they were very. Um, yeah, because I think the, they designed them, I think, when the budget of the show was like five quid an episode or something. In the 1960s, yeah. You just, oh, just rolling around the kitchen shelf. 
Yeah. Isn't the noise they make one of the noises they make like a, a toilet flushing, like when they actually experience Maybe. something? Or that could be the theme Maybe. Song, some part of the toilet. Sorry. Toilet Maybe. Flushing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's Seamus' time. <laughs> This isn't, it's about as time. Okay, uh, I don't know. T tell me, Seamus, I asked you how you were. You talked about being an elf in the past. Um, yes. In pre COVID times, I was my office's Santa Claus. Uh, I could see that. I, <laughs> it's a little worrying. To see I can see that. Uh, no, it's the beard. <laughs> it could be young Santa Claus. But um, yeah, I I had to deal with like the kids, like because they'd have one Saturday set aside in December, and the kids would come in, and like the majority of kids, like ninety percent of kids are are fine. But it's like people, like ten percent of the kids are like little little fucking pricks, and they'd be like, I I know you're not a Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I know your parents don't really love you. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was, it was like, like like jolly Santa Claus for like little kids who were like, oh my god, Santa Claus. But then like the ten year olds who think they're like too fucking cool for school, those little pricks will fuck themselves, you know. <laughs> you you show that Santa has a naughty and nice side to him. It's like, oh, 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 Shannon will bang your mom if you're not careful, Shannon. <laughs> I've got a lot of inspiration from the movie, you know. Have you ever seen oh. Bad Santa? No, oh, I yeah. have. Fantastic movie. You should definitely check it out. It's based on changes. You were like him. You were like, oh. <laughs> 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 you're, like you're not getting anything because you're a prick. <laughs> yeah. What you want for Christmas? A younger brother? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could play young Santa. I could see you like it's the beards that and that yeah, you could be like in a film where Santa's younger and he's like finding his yeah. way in the world. And instead of with like a red suit, he wears like a, a red plaid shirt and he's got the sleeves rolled up and he's like yeah. Yeah. And he's not gone grey yet, so he hasn't met Mrs. Claus. Yeah. And there'd be a scene where someone would try to get him to wear the coat, and he'd be like, "No, that's lame, man." And then he just keeps going. And it's like, "Oh my god!" Because he later on he wears the. Shit off. Everyone, everyone was like, "Oh, no, we know." And then at the end, he puts on the jacket and the trousers, and he's like, oh. I think we could do this. Every show on Netflix is a prequel of some franchise. I think we could launch Shameless. Yeah. Seamus Santa, Seamus Santa, Seamus Claus. Nick, Seamus Claus. Yeah, it's already there. <laughs> All we Nick. need is a budget of maybe twenty million, and we're good to go. Yeah. All Let's we need is a red coat. Or even like, how did he get to the North Pole? Where did he find all the little elves? Yeah. Tanya. This is kind of like the Santa Claus movie. Yeah, but instead of like. Santa Claus as a title, it'll be. In Santa Claus. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying, Seamus? I think I was telling Amy that this is an entirely separate original. Yeah. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Sued by Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> he can cameo. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know why Tim You're all right. I don't know why Tim Allen is in Hey, I'm walking here. It's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget about it. You're sitting and beyond. Tim's <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. I, could definitely, I could definitely see you doing that. So, yeah. So, maybe you could be working on the next Netflix Santa Claus. Yeah, Jeez. I think I, I could see that. I think I would like to... Um, make money on Netflix, you know. <laughs> it's the money, money bit that you liked. <laughs> I was like, money, please, yeah, yeah. <laughs> money, me, money now, money, yes. Um, yeah. Right. So, Shemus, are you are you ready to 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 do um what's that thing? Comedy. Comedy. Yeah. Are you ready for Actually, comedy? 
I did comedy was with you back in August, back on the stage in work. Back in the day. Yes, God, that was so long ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, before the sequel, Lockdown 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, <laughs> but my, my story tonight uh, for you, it's uh, wait, Christmas. Wait, wait, wait. Am I oh. going to, I'll put you in. There we go. Shame is like. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jack. Um, see, my story uh, tonight, it's a true story. It happened about, I don't know, five, six years ago at this stage. It was down home in Limerick. It was a stackpool family Christmas. We're all gathered around the dinner table, and um, we had this neighbour, lady, Libby, and she didn't want to come here in Maryland. So we invited her to the Christmas dinner with us, you know? And then we should be able to see and then we need to see what's on TV. As I said, I've got to see the industry, I think it's people traditionally on the stage, after the system, English people like that can teach on TV. Um, which is a bit different from Irish people, traditionally after the system, we like to watch our family fall apart. Um, <laughs> but, you know, different cultures, different, different traditions. <laughs> and to guest, she asked if she could watch the Queen's speech. We looked around the room. Oh, yeah. You know, we hadn't invited Uncle Jerry Adams that year, so we decided to <laughs> find, uh, we'll, um, we'll put on the Queen's speech. And, you know, we put on the speech, and there's the Queen, you know, she's like 178 years old. <laughs> she the only thing keeping the Queen alive is the collective will of the entire British tourism industry, which depends <laughs> on. <laughs> They're all doing like black magic 24 hours a day to keep that woman alive. But there she was, old Elizabeth Windsor, and she's looking into the camera. And she's very regal and she's very majestic. And she's saying, during the year, I want all of you to know. And by the way, if you've never actually heard the Queen speaking, this is dead on exactly what she's saying. <laughs> but she's, there, she's talking to the camera and she's saying, during the year, I want all of you to know that I hold all of you dear to my heart and in my thoughts at all times. And that was beautiful. That was so beautiful that my little three-year-old niece, little angel, she looked up at her mother and she goes, is that God? <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> we, we've never played uh, the Queen after Christmas dinner since then. Um, and Jack, that's my story of Christmas Mass. That was a good story, Shane. Well done, everyone. Yeah. I had to come out the kitchen because my phone is dying, so I had to plug it in. <laughs> there we go. It's the realism of the show business. Um, I didn't know how how that story was going to go, Seamus. I thought like there could be war. Yeah, you thought it was Republican or something. Honestly. Yeah, throw the Queen's speech. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget. I've come out dead. Yeah. I'll, we can turn that hair on. And I'm wearing my mask. <laughs> I'll never forget. Um, I was seeing an English girl when I was living in old London, and it was I spent the Easter with her, where it was the hundred anniversary of the Easter Rising. Mm. And the my, her mother was like, "I'll oh, get over it," and she and she turned on the Queen's documentary. And yeah, it was just the fakest thing ever. They were just like lying about how great she is. So like, well, she just brings something to the party that no one else can bring. <laughs> no, it was awful. It was awful. Anyway, I'm gonna steal the spotlight for a second. I'm just gonna thank the audience. Thank you, audience. Thank you so much. If you'd like to support this rascal comedy, I'll put a link down there. You can send me a tip. Because unfortunately, this isn't free. I've got to pay for all of StreamYard, uh, a monthly subscription. But yeah, throw me a few quid, that'd be great. Um, just to keep it running, keep Irish comedy alive. Hopefully, in the new year, we'll have live shows coming soon. But I will let you know. I'll let you know. Right, let's say goodbye to the comedians. Comedians, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having us. Yeah, let's thank say you. To the audience. Bye, audience. Bye, audience. Bye, audience. Bye, audience. Bye, audience. Bye, audience.